Hi there, ladies and gentlemen and boys and girls. We have a tremendous wrestling card for you today here on All-Star Championship Wrestling, which, of course, features the world's greatest wrestlers. My little itty-bitty bruiser buddies. United States Heavyweight Champion, Bob Brazil. The world's heavyweight champion from the AWA, Nick Pockwinkle. The Midwest supporting, bruiser loving, positivity spreading, world's most dangerous podcast. Join former pro wrestler and promoter Dave Dynasty as he supports and promotes Midwest pro wrestling. Keep on growing with the Midwest Express. This is the Dave Dynasty Show. Greetings and welcome to the Dave Dynasty Show. I am your host, Dave Dynasty. Thank you for joining us for another episode from your Midwest Wrestling Podcast host, bringing to you the best in Midwest Pro Wrestling past and present. I am Dave Dynasty. Thank you for coming on board. And listen, however you do, we're available on all podcast platforms. And whichever way you choose to listen, make sure you subscribe to us uh, or follow us. Make sure you like and share uh, leave ratings and reviews. All those things help us and all the all the different matrices and different things to uh, get us some more exposure. And we got a great show here today for you. Uh, we got Martin Carrillo from uh, Wrestling with Unicorns on the show today. Uh, you may not be familiar with Wrestling with Unicorns if you just hear that name. But if you are online and, and, and social media at all and you look at any clips of, of independent wrestling, current independent wrestling, chances are better than not you've seen a ton of his work. So we got a great interview with him uh, discussing what he does and how he does it and everything else. Uh, we also have uh, uh, Bob Rogers on here in a bit. Uh, he's going to talk to you about an upcoming show in Indiana, but more on that soon. Uh, we would like to announce, as we, we've broken on social media, but we are partnering with Powerslam.tv to bring to you a special offer. Uh, they have a great service. Uh, it's over 400 independent promotions, well over uh, a thousand hours, I believe of, uh, maybe I have those numbers or maybe it's over a hundred promotions and over 4,000 of hours. That's it. I think of, uh, anyway, there's a ton. How about we put it that way? There's a ton of independent wrestling on there, including lots of favorites from the Midwest, uh, lots of stars, uh, from all over the country. Uh, there's chances that you can find something great to watch on Power Slam TV. And we have partnered with them. If you go to powerslam.tv and you sign up and you enter the code word dynasty, you get one free month of service. It's well, well worth it. So make sure you take advantage of that. Go to powerslam.tv, enter the code word, uh, promo code dynasty, get one month for free and check them out and support Power Slam, support independent wrestling. That is a great, great way to do it. And you can check me out, uh, me and Ike both, on Saturday, February 16th. We will be in Muncie, Indiana for Decatur County Championship Wrestling. I've been uh, helping them and running their social media and some of the promoting uh, and doing some of their graphic work and things. Uh, but we will be there for that show uh, on February 16th. In Muncie, Indiana, the doors open at 6 p.m. There's a bell time of 7 p.m. You can come see Bobo Brazil Jr., Vinny Vachetti, TJ Powers, Mike King, and much, much more. And we have some tickets to give away, so make sure you watch our social media following the release uh, of this show. And this week, we will be giving away uh, some pairs of tickets to that show. It's going to be very easy to do that. And uh, not only that, if you win those pairs of tickets, chances are better not I will meet you at the show to give you those tickets, and we can snap a selfie so that you can uh, put that on social media. So check that out on my social media this week as we give away tickets to that show in Muncie, Indiana. Uh, if you are following independent wrestling online, uh, you've probably heard Evolve Wrestling, uh, very well known for their product and what they do out there. They have announced that on Saturday, May 11th, they are going to be holding a show in Indianapolis, Indiana. So check out Evolve Wrestling online if you're interested in that. A rare chance to see them here in the Midwest, uh, right here in the heart of Indiana. So go check them out. If you don't want to go to that show, there is also another show on May 11th in Madison, Indiana for Supreme Wrestling. Uh, I will be at this show. I will be attending the show uh, as a fan uh, and doing some different live streaming and things. Uh, plugs from that show. Again, it is Saturday, May 11th in Madison, Indiana at Supreme Wrestling. And this show is spectacular. They are bringing in Jerry the King Lawler. 
uh, to headline that show. So you cannot miss that. Uh, Jerry Lawler, Doug Gilbert, Jason Kincaid, and much more on that show. So do not miss that. Uh, look up Supreme Wrestling on social media. Those tickets will be going on sale very, very soon. Uh, we will also, Ike and I, be out and about. Uh, we will be in Chicago on March 22nd through 24th for C2E2. Uh, we are purely there, uh, kind of covering the convention. We will be uh, looking at the wrestling involvement in the show, which centers very, uh, very strongly around Jim Cornette. He'll be there at that show, and I'll be attending that event and uh, the, the Cornette late night experience that he'll have. Uh, so we'll be, again, we'll be lots of pictures, posts, live streaming and such from C2E2. Uh, that is the weekend of March 22nd through 24th. I will be there uh, all three days attending. Uh, so if you're in that area, if you're going to go to C2E2, give me a shout out on social media. Maybe we can meet up uh, and say hi to each other. Uh, other things going on. Uh, I just re- recently received a, a copy of Gene, the Gene Kaniski biography by Steve Verrier. Uh, this is a great, great great book uh it is published uh, by mcfarland uh, by mcfarland books again it's gene Kinesky, gene Kinesky, canadian wrestling legend uh, Kinesky was a great great wrestler uh had a uh, memorable little stint uh, in appearances for the wwa for bruiser uh, held their title for a, a bit uh but again this is a great book i am in the process of reading it and, and i'm very enthralled I, I can't put it down i highly make you recommend excuse me that you put up a copy of that once i finish reading it i will I put up kind of a review of the book, but I can already tell you it's going to be glowing and exceptional. I cannot recommend this book enough. I'd like to give a special shout out and thank you to uh, my buddy, Professor Ouch. Uh, He sent me uh, some cool stuff, uh, including a a button for I Like to Hurt People, the the classic uh, wrestling movie, uh, which more information, we're going to be doing a special episode on that movie very, very soon. Uh, More info to come on that. But Professor Ouch, uh, he, he has all kinds of cool stuff, uh, uh, the kind of bizarre and odd and weird things. If, if you kind of like that kind of stuff, there's there's toys, there's oddities, there's posters, there's all kinds of, of print ads and different things. He has a little bit of everything, but it's it's all kind of peculiar and unique. Uh, very cool stuff. Again, so check him out at bizarre, bizarre, philly.com. That is B-I-Z-A-R-R-E. B a z a a r p h i l l y dot com bizarre bizarre philly dot com, and you can also look at bizarre bizarre on Facebook, or look up Professor Ouch on Facebook. Uh, reach out to him; he's always posting stuff for sale. Again, very 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 cool stuff. He's a good dude. Uh, special thanks to Professor Ouch uh, for sending me the package of goodies. Uh, very much appreciated. Check him out. Like I said, he's always got cool stuff. In a in a huge wrestling fan, uh, so he's a good guy. Uh, so we also. Another show I want to speak of real quick is on Sunday, February 10th, coming up very, very soon, uh, less than a week from the, the release date of this episode in Indianapolis, Indiana. It is the first annual Rob Kincaid Memorial Show. As you know, we lost Rob last year, uh, and it kind of very dear to our hearts. And uh, we did the, the Rob Kincaid Memorial episode here on the Dave Dynasty Show, and we're big backers and supporters of this memorial show. We're going to try to make it to it uh, if our schedules will allow uh, but here to tell you more about that show, uh, we have one of the organizers of the event, Bob Rogers. Uh, Ike Isaacs, my co-host, is going to uh, going to talk to Bob. He'll give you some information on this show, how it came to be, what to expect, and how you can get tickets for this event. Uh, we're going to bring you that clip now, and after that, we're going to take a break, and then we will come back uh, with our guest, uh, Martin Crelio from Wrestling with Unicorns. So right now, here we have Ike Isaacs with Bob Rogers talking about the Rob Kincaid Memorial Show. We'd like to welcome Bob Rogers now to the show to talk about Rob Kincaid Memorial Show held Sunday, February 10th in Indianapolis, Indiana. Now, Bob, tell us how the show started and how it was discussed to be held. Well, um, Rob Kincaid has been somebody personal in my wrestling career. Um, as everybody knows, the mastermind Bob Rogers, he's been there. He's taken me to Ohio. He's given me advice on my character. He's, he's done a lot of instrumental things, well, only me, but as I saw with a lot of other guys that are up and coming trying to make it in the business. So, basically, you know, when he passed over Thanksgiving, and we just said we need to do something to honor him, to keep honored. Um, he, he actually helped with me developing my own federation, Future Talent Wrestling. Um, of course, I was helping him with some things, little small things in the background of CCW. It's just the right thing to do. 
he was a part of the independent scene here in Indianapolis. So, no, absolutely. Yeah. Well, and definitely, um, you know, we actually um, talked to quite a few people who um, knew Rob as part of a kind of one of our, our memorial podcast for him, and definitely he's affected a lot of uh, a lot of people. He seems like an amazing guy. Um, but the show, no, uh, um, or what? I'm sorry. No, I mean you should you should see him in action. I don't know if you have or not, but the man when he's behind that curtain and he's someone that's, that really wants to make it and do something, his knowledge is like Encyclopedia Britannica. And people don't give him enough credit for that. So, yeah. Well, absolutely. And that's actually, that's what I've heard from a lot of people. That he's just, he was a wealth of knowledge um, and also just, a, 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 you know, alien, you know, just a very kind human being. So I have seen him oh, yeah. um, work a little bit on some, you know, videos online and whatnot. Never got to meet Rob, unfortunately, but uh, definitely it's amazing to hear these stories, of course. But um, but like we said, the show is to be held on se- uh, Sunday, February 10th. Uh, it's be- being promoted by um, FTW and CCE together. Um, but what can fans in attendance expect to see wrestling-wise? Wrestling-wise, actually, that part is going to be interesting. Um CCW, as you know, um, Indianapolis has always been a flavor about talent, a flavor about, you know, the guys that are there, the guys that are coming up. You can tell wrestling is about the younger guys coming up, the guys that are trying to get up there, the guys trying to reach that start to get to an NXT, something like that. So together, what we want to do is put on a mixture show, something that shows all styles of wrestling, something that's developed to take to kind of tease the palate of a lot of the wrestling fans out there. Uh, for instance, we have our main event, which is uh, someone from Portland, Oregon. He was a very integral part of CCW. Uh, he had held a couple of NWA titles. He's the Pacific Northwest champion. Um, he is bad blood. Uh, taking on someone that we all know. Um, he is AIWF's American champion, Lennox North. Um, that has been all around Indiana, Ohio, and Illinois with with his work. Um, that's what we call Match of the Night. That's going to be held for the FTWCCW show from now on. From now on, excuse me. Um, there will be one specific match that anybody from any place, anywhere, the two or four or six could be matched up together against each other in a match. And it just, again, it just, it gives you that tease of the palate to give you the taste of everything instead of one specific style show. Absolutely. And um, I feel like that's going to obviously go over pretty well. I know when I go to wrestling shows and I see um, a little bit of everything because, you know, working in the industry, you know, and learning about different types of wrestling, all wrestling is good wrestling. So it's definitely good, great to see all this different type of wrestling. Yes, and you, 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 you don't, you know, sometimes you see the thing over and over again, and, right. you know, you, you lose a little bit of a flavor for it, but what we're trying to do here is give the flavor for everybody to have fun, you know, dynamic storylines, uh-huh. you know, and things to go ahead and to keep appeasing that taste that people want for that independent rest. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, so obviously it's going to be an amazing night for so many reasons. Obviously it's the Rob King K Memorial, but it's also a great night to, you know, show all this talent and, like you said, show a variety of different wrestling types. Um, but can you give us any insight on things that might be part of the evening to pay tribute to Rob? We're going to have some words uh, from a couple of people. Um, definite speeches by a couple of different people. Uh, I'm leaving that on the show. We're going to discuss all that at the show. That's one thing that, that, that I have me personally, letting too much out before the show. Right. You know what I mean? I want people to come to the show. I want people to see it for themselves. I don't want to brag on it. I don't want to say, hey, you know, this, 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 this. like, oh, well, that's going to happen. You know, I already know what's going yeah, No. When you show up at the door, you have your seat, you see what's going on. I'm sure you'll be pleased. But, you know, it's definitely speeches that's going to happen. Different mass tribute, actually. Uh, the Pacific Northwest champion actually requested to come out here. 
Um, he, he came out on his own accord because he was an integral part of CTW and AWA. Um, Lennox Norris definitely took his hat off and said, hey, this is what I want. You know, let's, let, let's do it. You know, these two guys have been wanting to go against each other for a while as well. It's never happened. Never happened. And the guys are wrestlers. Um, you know, just a little tease. We got the elite coming through. The lost calls. A very good technical wrestler. Uh, submission wrestler, mostly, but he had, he, 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 great, really great. And then also, you know, more of the legendary flavor, we had, uh, superstar TJ Powers that, that, that come out. Uh, we, we just got, again, a level on every level. So I just hope everybody comes out because, you know, most wrestling shows are about attendance. They're about, oh, we got this many people. We got this. We got this. We got this. Tonight, well, not tonight, but next weekend, next Sunday, it's, it's not about attendance. It's not about, you know, what type of move this guy did, what type of move that guy did. The most important thing is honoring a man that sat here and did well and did good by everyone in the independent scene. Absolutely right. One hundred percent. And, you know, and, and in honor of him, of course, and honoring him. Um, when you build the show, you said it was the first annual. Uh, can we assume that there might be future yearly events in regards to this? Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely. And that's just going to keep growing and growing and growing and growing. Um, this is the first event ourselves as the uh, FTWCCW has done together. Um, as we go through as partnerships throughout the year, we just tend to grow and grow and grow. And we want our audience to grow with us, you know what I mean? Um, I have a couple of surprises that's going to come out later in the year for FTW and CTW. Um, it, it's going to be a ride that people wouldn't expect, but they're going to love. Absolutely, 100%. So definitely very exciting, you know, uh, first annual, and then hopefully in the future we'll see more, of course. Uh, but the show... Oh, it's, it's uh, not hopefully, it's <laughs> definitely. We will hire him, Rob. We will definitely do that. That's what I love to hear. So for this show, uh, the one's occurring uh, coming weekend, um, for everybody out there who may want to know, the show is going to be held on 6611 Bluff Road in Indianapolis, Indiana. Doors open at 5 p.m. with a 6.05 bell time. Uh, and tickets are $10 in advance and $12 at the door. But, Bob, where can folks get tickets for the show? Uh, if they want to get a advance ticket to the show at the south side flea market, uh, we have tickets available there at the tattoo booth. Okay. Uh, just go there. They'll say hi to Christina. Go ahead, get your tickets there. Also, uh, I will be selling tickets perfectly out of the Avis Budget Rental Car uh, on the north side of Indy on 46th Keystone. Um, so I have a south side place and a north side place where people can come and get tickets and be able to come out. Yeah, absolutely. Very, very cool. Um, and then if anybody has any questions or need more information about the show, uh, what do they need to do? Where can they contact you guys? Uh, they can contact myself. Uh, again, Mastermind my Brothers. Uh, just you all, know, uh, you can uh, email me at uh, mastermind43 at gmail.com, or you can call me at 317-746-4205. Either way, um, I don't care. I get enough phone calls as it is. That's right. <laughs> so everybody out there, before we wrap up, you know what to do now. Um, you know where you guys can go get tickets. You guys know where you can contact him at to see about tickets and get additional information. Uh, but thank you for helping organize this event, Bob, and absolutely thank you for coming on today and talking to us about the event. I uh, know I'm sure you're busy, guys. We definitely appreciate you taking the time out of your day to help, uh, you know, make this a big deal and make this uh, bigger than life because Rob certainly seemed like he was bigger than life. Let, let me say this. I appreciate you guys. And let me tell you what. I used to do podcasts back in the day, uh, and it, it, it was tough. It was tough, with, especially with my schedule and things. Yeah, plus I started to wrestle or things of that nature. It was just impossible for me to do. People like yourselves, Dave, Dynasty, you guys get the word out to a lot of people. And a lot of people pay attention to you guys and come to shows that I'm, that I'm starting to host, you know, CCW, FTW, things of that nature. So I want to thank you guys for doing this because without you, half the people would not know what these things are. So, again, thank you. Thank you very much. Absolutely. It's our, our absolute pleasure to help out in any way we can. But everybody out there, you know what to do now. Go to the show. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be in tribute to an amazing guy. You don't want to miss it. 
Uh, Bob, thank you again for down here. Uh, but you stay safe, and we'll hopefully see you soon, all right? Oh, yes. See you next, uh, next Sunday, and we will definitely see you guys in the future. If you are looking for the best books, DVDs, and posters on classic wrestling nostalgia, then you want to visit crowbarpress.com. There are literally dozens of titles there, including biographies of the likes of Bruiser Brody, Ole Anderson, Ivan Koloff, and of course, Dick the Bruiser, as we've spoke about here on the Dave Dynasty Show. You want to visit crowbarpress.com for all of your classic wrestling nostalgia needs. Again, that is crowbarpress.com. And welcome back to the Dave Dynasty Show. I am your co-host, Ike Isaacs, and today I am joined with a very special guest. Today we have Wrestling with Unicorns. How are we doing today? And yourself? I'm doing wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. wonderful. All right. (laughs) That's a lot of wonderful (laughs) to take in, I know. (laughs) But, uh, well, hey, we're just going to go ahead and jump right into it. So... Uh, first off, anybody who's ever watched wrestling um, in the independent circle, uh, or has been on social media, I should say, has probably seen some work done by Wrestling with Unicorns. Um, so if you will, will you tell us, in your words, what you are, what you do, and how that operates? Yeah, so so we are, we are, um, we are a promotional brand that helps promote independent wrestling uh we are located in the midwest as uh, chicago illinois but we do help other promotions from different um from different areas from the west coast from the east coast um anywhere possible where somebody wants me to help them promote a show or plug a show on their social media i do it uh our specialty are are taking clips uh, some people call them gifs but but like there's a whole dispute about clips and gifs so so i just call them clips uh, I take clips for many companies in the area, uh, mostly in the east, uh, no, mostly in the Midwest. Uh, I have taken clips for a W um, uh, wrestling revolver, um, Galley Calibre here in Chicago, Zello Pro, and like some of the big companies I have uh, I have been able to take clips for is Evolve Wrestling and MLW. So so we mostly take uh, clips for shows, but then and I do a bunch of promotional. Things things online on, on our social media facebook uh, twitter uh instagram that mostly what i do for for a bunch of promotions uh, uh, promotion can just contact us and then if they need me to plug something i do it uh i don't charge it all to nobody uh but then if they want to take clips they really have to tell me in the beginning of the year because we get pretty booked during the year uh and then there's a bunch of companies that I have a bunch of um partnership with and i had to take uh, I had to take their their show first rather than other people's shows, and that's when a bunch of people start getting mad at me. But then there's only two people of us, you know, it's like it's myself and my brother. Uh, both of us take clips at different shows. Um, uh, uh, we do something it's called double angle. Uh, I do it from ringside. He does it from a balcony, or he does it from from the audience, or or he does it from a certain area where like you get different views form a certain move so so that that's pretty much what i do and um and i guess something that this might not be something that a lot of people know happens behind the scenes so um definitely this is a pretty integral part of the independent wrestling circle or i should say uh independent wrestling um Mm -hmm. entity that it is because social media is so incredibly important with uh independent wrestling and wrestling just in general so definitely this is something that a lot of people probably don't know happens but um from a different standpoint, you know, you kind of told us what you did, but how did you get started doing this? Because I'm assuming you're a fan, taking videos and posting them, uh, but how did you start to get kind of a following or an attention to your product? Uh, so it all started, it was in 2015. Um, uh, my brother and my friend uh, and myself, we went to an AEW show, and at the time, uh, I just I just took clips and take pictures for fun, you know, it's like, just like a regular fan, because it was our first show ever. So that's when I, myself and my brother became uh, regulars at AEW. And then we would go every month, and then, and then I would take clips, and I would take pictures, just for fun, you know? Uh, and then and it was February 2016, I decided to, like, do a Twitter, because I'm like, oh, man, I need somewhere so I can put my 
had my material. So then I did it there. Uh, it was nothing, you know, it was like, it was just for fun and, and stuff. And then a year later, I was, uh, I was at AEW show, and then uh, one of the production guys came up to me, and he goes, hey, man, uh, you can totally do what you're doing. You know, uh, you can take clips for us, you can put them online, for just plug us, just tell them about the show and, and stuff. So then I, I was doing that for a couple months for AEW, and then in freelance, I had the opportunity to go to freelance, and then uh, I introduced myself to the promoter there because i i already knew him uh, from like just social media and stuff and i told him hey can i be in charge of your uh snapchat so he goes yeah you can totally be in charge of the snapchat so then i started i started taking clips with the snapchat i started taking pictures for snapchat and then from there i just started to like, expand a little bit more i started to like wanting to go to different shows and, like i wanted to ask for permission because i didn't want to like like cross it by toes or like do things that like were illegal and stuff you know right. so then so then from there i started doing more shows constantly i started doing AEW freelance i did um i did freelance underground at the time it was yeah freelance underground and then from there we just started doing more shows and more shows and then and then uh when when like a promotion like like evolve or gtw or mmw came in i would just send an email you know, uh, I found Mr. Gabe's email, and I, I just sent an email, uh, and I asked him, "Hey, can I be able to take clips?" You know, uh, and then at first, first he was kind of iffy about it, you know, but then a year later, I contacted him, and he told me, "Yeah, go ahead." Clips. So then, so then I've been taking clips for Evolve every time I get here, and then I sent an MW email, and I was like, hey, "Can I take some clips for you guys?" Because I don't, uh, because I don't want to get in trouble. You know, it's like because they're like in the TV channel and stuff. So then they go, "Yeah, go ahead." So then from there, I started doing more clips. Um, I started more. Promotion for a bunch of things. Uh, I have a bunch of partnership with different companies in in the whole United States. I try to plug as much shows as possible because because I know that like uh, somebody from like let's say there's a show in New York and then somebody lives in Virginia, they might be able to go there, you know. But the thing is like I don't know how the distance are, but like I'll be able to help fans find a show that like it's kind of close to them or like they are interesting to learn from them or they can like purchase purchase like the um independent wrestling tv or high spots or the or the or the company's uh video uh on demand stuff you know and and that's pretty much how how wrestling unicorn started uh, going on three years three years strong um i finally had my my official first wrestling job uh working with Working with Panda TV, I, I started on Friday with them, so that's another big deal. Uh, I never, I never really thought that I was gonna be able to work with a big company as, as an Panda TV as a part of their um, production team. So that's pretty cool, you know. Uh, everything started from just a dream and just with an iPhone and just trying to like get the get the voice around about independent wrestling going on. So, right, absolutely. And I mean, that, and that's a, it's pretty awesome because like you said, you just kind of started out, um, you know, just taking pictures and taking clips and doing all this. Um, and it's kind of, obviously it's, you know, it's kind of exploded, you know, um, mm-hmm. you know, we've, we've covered, you know, how it began, you know, how the passion grew, how, when you had kind of exploded, if you will. Um, but also yeah. I guess kind of an important thing that you show in wrestling is, uh, the importance of branding. Um, I feel like, again, in the modern age of uh, social media, independent wrestling has gotten bigger, I think, because of it. They're able to market themselves, and um, you're a very big, important part of that um, piece of wrestling, if you will. Um, with, with that being said, how did you, I guess, how did you set out to continue to develop and build your brand and how do you continue to develop that because obviously this is a very competitive world i'm sure that people have caught on a little bit <laughs> well yeah honestly uh what like i try to do like my best is to have partnership with different companies have a partnership with them because that means that i'm separating myself from everybody else who just put in some random shows online or like putting a poster of a random show happening in, like, Wyoming and stuff, you know? That's why I, I focus mostly on the promotions I work with or have a partnership with, and then I put the posters on there. But the thing is, I tag them as as they were uh, as they were posting it. So, uh, so like, you can clearly see that 
like it was their pose rather than my pose, you know. And then like what like, I do all the time is I try to contact different people. I try to network with different people. I I try my best to talk to many many men wrestlers as possible so they can help me out. You know, it's like I have I have met so many amazing wrestlers in this business because of it. So many amazing fans from out of it. Just every single day you had to network. Every single day you had to be your best. Every single day you have to show that you care about this. You know, it's like if you just one day you wake up and like, oh, okay, I'm gonna do a brand like wrestling with unicorns, you know. But things if you're not dedicated and and like if you don't have a passion for it, you're not gonna do it. You know, it's like I remember uh, I remember three years ago, you know, it's like nobody cared about me, you know, nobody even like shared my stuff, you know. But now but now three years later, a lot of people I, I, I honestly has told me, yeah, because of you I go to this company because of you I know about this wrestler because of you I go to AEW every, every month or I go uh, I went to try this other company because of you you know like that makes me happy because I know every day I'm doing I'm doing something I love you know like I don't get I don't get paid fully doing this you know I don't get paid fully for for this I do it because I have a passion for this because I love wrestling as a little kid and now being a part of it every single day, it's something awesome, you know, it's like, yeah, like, it'll be nice making money every day, but the thing is, for me, knowing that I'm helping a promotion, or I'm helping a wrestler, it makes me happy, and that gives me satisfied every single day I wake up. Yeah, absolutely, and, you know, being able to uh, chase that kind of a dream is very important, obviously, you know, um, yeah. We live in a very, I guess, kind of depressing world, if you will. So having, you know, ideas, yeah, we do. <laughs> but you know, having ideas yeah. and having thoughts and dreams can definitely um, inspire us. Um, so I guess uh, before we move on too far, what kind of advice would you give to somebody else who uh, may be trying to develop an idea or chase a dream? Um, uh, hello, you still with me? <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm still here. I was like, I was, did you hear yeah, that too? That was so weird. <laughs> that was weird. Yeah, but, I did. Uh, all right, so good thing I'm not crazy, guys. Uh, but anyways, yeah. Um, yeah. So, like I was saying, you know, we like I said, a depressing world. But a lot of people have dreams. A lot of people have ideas. Um, but what is what's something that you would say to those people? You know, hey, here's a piece of advice. What would you say to those people who may be trying to do that? Like honestly, all tell them is to just. And just do what you love. No matter, no matter if you feel like it doesn't matter, it does matter. A lot of people care. You know, it's like just take a risk. That's what I tell people: just take a risk and see what happens to it. No matter, no matter how big it seems, no, no matter how small it is, you just take a risk. You know, there's nothing else for you to lose. You know, it's like you, the only thing you lose is like, like telling yourself, "Oh yeah, I, I feel." The thing is, you can't fail with something you didn't buy 100. percent You know, and that's something that that I'm very grateful of doing. You know, I tried this 100. percent I gave it all my all, and I'm. I'm kind of successful, you know, it's like, uh, I, I'm kind of known, I'm kind of known in this wrestling world, you know, it's like, when people tell me, oh, yeah, wrestling unicorns, and like, every time I go to a show, so many people are like, yeah, man, I love your videos, I'm a big supporter of you, you know, and that means the world to me, because, because for being somebody, from feelings, from somebody like, that like being from nothing to something, and that, that's like, a big accomplishment and that's why like, I, would, I tell people all the time you know like, if you want to do something do it you know if you want to be a wrestler give your 100% for it if, if, if you're not going to give it 100% don't even try it don't even try if, you, if you're not going to willing to sacrifice if you're not willing to do so many things for it don't even do it but things if you're willing to sacrifice and do and give 100% to everything you do you're going to be successful to it even though you don't feel successful the whole world is going to see it so that's all that matters. Yeah. No, absolutely. Yeah. And, you know, those are obviously very inspiring words because, you know, all ideas kind of start at that base area where, you know, you're not really sure if you want to, you know, run with it or if you want to dream it for that. Uh, but like you said, if you just go for it, you know, l there's always going to be risk. So definitely good advice. <laughs> yeah. But, um, so I, I guess kind of on a, on a different note, um, so obviously the entity you uh, work with is called Wrestling with Unicorns. Um, obviously, it's a great name, but how did how did that name kind of come about? I'm kind of curious about that. <laughs> uh, yeah, honestly, like what I did was I wanted to be something different. You know, I, I didn't want to be the same macho thing. You know, so I wanted to be something different. I wanted some, uh, I wanted to give 
and attention to it. You know, I want somebody to be like, oh, wrestling with unicorns. You know, I want people to be like, what's wrestling with unicorns? They'll see typical, you know, uh, wrestling something, or wrestling a server, or wrestling this. And this. No, it's like, if you can do something different, people are going to look at you and be like, what is that? You know, and, and they're going to give you more attention, and they're going to want to learn more about it. And that's why it was always, like, the point of it was to give, to, like, get your attention. Because you see wrestling unicorns, you're like, what's that? And then that won't actually make you to go follow us on social media or go or go to our website or check us out more and like be more detailed about it. And and like I came up with unicorns was because for years I have always like I have always said like like a certain phrase was like suck my unicorn. You know? I've always used that as a kid. Uh when when like, I was in high school I used to write on my ID, suck my unicorn. Uh, or, or suck my unicorn. So after that, when I when I was looking for a name for it, I was like, oh, let me just write Wrestling Unicorns, you know? Because something different, you know, something like edgy, you know, whatever. Right. So then I, it, and they just came up to it. And then a bunch of people told me, oh, wow, like, how do you came up to it? Because at first, at first, uh, a lot of people thought it was, um, it was a LBQT group, you know? Uh, honestly, I support, uh, I support LBQT, you know? I support it. I, in, in like a hundred, percent this is not only for them this is for everybody you know this is if you're white if you're black if you're hispanic uh, if you're transgender whatever this is for you you know like this is something different i always want to be something different this is not just just for your typical hard um hard dying wrestling fan this is for for the for the casual person you know the casual person who, who just wants to check out wrestling who just wants to see a different environment you know and that's the reason why i, I always I always post different promotions, not only one promotion, you know, and that's why I have I have so many partnerships with different promotions in Chicago, freelance wrestling, freelance wrestling is a whole different environment to compare to AEW or compare to a Galley Lucha Libre show or to a MLW or to an Evolve show, you know, and that's the reason why I like it, you know, I like going to different environments and seeing different people because you can actually see what kind of people like certain things, you know, even though all of us love wrestling, but there's always the separation of what kind of wrestling do you like? So, right. absolutely. And I th- actually, that's really awesome because um, when I heard the obviously when I heard the the, the name wrestling with unicorns, um, obviously it made me kind of like do a double check. I'm like wrestling with unicorns. So, and then obviously it made me want to look at all of your social medias and see all yeah. this stuff. And I'm like, well, hey, I've seen this guy's works before. So. Obviously, I see where you're going, and you definitely accomplished that. <laughs> definitely did. Thanks, man. Um, <laughs> Thank you. You know, I, I I'm glad to know that like, uh, like it kind of it kind of actually questioned you or what it was. So I'm glad. You know, I'm glad. <laughs> it was a definitely it definitely caught my attention 100. percent But uh, so and also like, another thing is you know um. You know, me and Dave, we do often do our research prior to uh, our interviews. Um, and something we've heard about you and um, your group is that you guys are a lot of really nice people in wrestling. Um, you guys tend to be very nice from what we hear, and obviously you seem like a really awesome guy. So you work in a business that is very often a very unpositive business. Wrestling can very, oh, very much. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> it, it very much is unpositive. Oh, trust me. <laughs> and uh, Dave, the Dave Dynasty mm-hmm. show, our, our catchphrase is, you know, put positivity back in pro wrestling. Um, so how do you remain upbeat and positive with a business that really sometimes isn't? Uh, honestly, the way that like, we keep positive in this is that, like, why get mad or why get offended or, or why get hurt by certain things? Right. You know, like, yeah, there's, there's have been so many... So many things going on, like uh, behind the scenes or things that we've been through uh, because of this business. You know, like there have been a bunch of rejections. There have been a bunch of people telling us, "Oh no, you're stupid. Oh, this is stupid." You know, but they keep on every single day, every single show. We go, we go in with a positive, uh, with like a positive attitude in it. You know, like we, tr- like uh, something like me and my brother have. Uh, whatever happened outside of outside of, of environment, like uh, at a wrestling show, whatever, you leave that shit in the door, and then you come in with a positive attitude. You know, and and that's something something like my brother, my brother, and myself have been living on a lot. You know, like, if you you know you're offended by something, it's like just leave that in the door and like just be positive. Ads too. 
you know, like just be positive, just be happy about it because you're there. You know, like for myself, it was like I, every time I show taking clips for a show, I'm always happy. You know, like no matter no matter if an accident happened to me or like if something happened like uh, backstage or something happened with a fan or something, I try my best and just and just leave that in the door and just be happy. You know, and that's what like uh, I try my best to always show a positive attitude. And my brother too, you know, that like both of us show positive attitude and try to always be helpful you know and that's why and that's why uh and that's why a bunch of wrestlers like me you know because i always try and help them like uh there there have been so many incidents when the wrestler like actually got hurt and like i i just left like my phone there and like i wanted to check on them why because i care about the wrestlers i care about the fans i care about everybody because i know i know like, like the wrestlers sacrifice themselves to be in the ring uh, like every time they get in the ring, they sacrifice themselves. You know, like if I can help them some some way, I would do it for everybody. You know, it's like uh, uh, there have been incidents where like I I have taken bumps for a wrestler. You know, I do it because I don't want them to like, actually get hurt or something bad happen to them, no matter what it is. Yeah. You know, so, so yeah, that's pretty much how we keep positive all the time. Right, and that's and that's a good thing too. You know, I I like the you know leave it at the door. Uh, I feel like that's a you know I feel like a lot of people um, try to implement that, but it's very hard to implement. It really, is. yeah, it is hard. <laughs> you know, when you, when you enter a new situation, a new arena, it, it's hard to just be like, yeah, I'm just gonna leave all that behind me because it, it's it's super easy to get hung up on stuff, and I feel like a lot of people could benefit from that advice. <laughs> yeah, and I hope, you know, it's like you just always leave the shit in the in the door. You know, it's like if you feel un, unhappy or something, just leave it at the door because because you're going to you might ruin other people's moods, you know. So be like you're so the greatest place on earth. You're about to watch some wrestling. <laughs> exactly. You know, it's like there's some wrestling show that's really good, you know, like there's some amazing environments here in Chicago, but then if you if you walk in with a negative attitude, it's like you you're gonna ruin the whole show for everybody, right? No, absolutely, and so. you know, audience participation and audience attitude. A lot of people don't you know don't see it, but it's important. You know, if, you, if everybody's feeling like that, you know, oh this sucks type mood, it's it's gonna ruin it. It really is. Exactly. Yeah. So. So. So, so yeah, I always try to be positive. Absolutely, be positive. Yeah. That's you know, <laughs> it's Pretty important. Much. Exactly. <laughs> but, uh, it is important. Going. I know you're right, but uh, so obviously, you know, yourself with uh, wrestling with unicorns, um, you guys have a very unique product. You guys, you know, do well what you do, um, and but obviously, 2019 is going to be another explosive year for independent wrestling. Um, so what are some goals you guys have for the new year uh, moving forward? Uh, like my main goal for this year is that, like it might be ambitious, but like I want to work a show with impact or my i want to do something with impact yeah yeah i want to do something with impact wrestling that's that's like one of my biggest goals for this year uh and it's something that i know i know hopefully i'll be able to accomplish it you know it's like uh, no matter in, in what in what way you know taking clips or working with them in the production or being security or doing something for them that's all like i really want to impact wrestling is my goal Impact Wrestling, um, and different goals is, like, travel more, um, travel more for my brother, check out different wrestling shows, be able to take more, more, more clips for other companies, and be able to just do this, uh, as much as possible, you know, it's yeah. like, last year we did over 50 shows, in 2018, we did almost 50 shows, um, sometimes we will do double headers on, on a, on a weekend, you know, it's like, there was the show's on Sunday, two shows on Sunday, like back to back, or or like uh, a full month of show every weekend, or a three day weekend, a four day weekend. It was it was crazy, you know. But things I still want to do that in 2019. But now 2019, we're we're kind of not doing so many shows, but like we, we are doing a lot of shows. So even though we we said we weren't, but like our companies that like we work for. And we have permission with our having show, like having more shows. So, so like that, that be something I love. You know, I love taking clips. I love uh, promoting. So I want to keep on doing that for 2019. So. Yeah, one hundred percent. And I guess uh, 
one last thing for you. I mean, yeah. obviously, Wrestling with Unicorns um, emphasizes the social media, that side of the branding industry. <clears throat> but uh, what's the best way for fans to see what you do and following, uh, follow Wrestling with Unicorns online? Uh, the best way is it's on Facebook. It's on Instagram. Uh, Instagram is our our like number one thing going on right now. It's like a lot of people love our videos on Instagram. But even though we are on social media, uh, on Instagram we are wrestling with unicorns. On on Twitter we are, it's wrestling with unicorns. But it's wrestling. Uh, it's w underscore w underscore unicorns. And on Facebook, of course, wrestling with unicorns. Uh, we mostly post like the same thing in all social medias. So, so like you can check us out anywhere you have. Uh, I even have a website for our for our shirts. Uh, it's wrestlingunicorns dot org. Uh, you can always support us there. Uh, every time somebody purchases a shirt, uh, it's helping us travel more. It's helping us support more wrestling. Uh, wrestling and be able to for us to go and take clips. Clips because, as you can tell, like sometimes it's not cheap to like gas or certain things. It's not cheap. So, so that that's why I use that money. It basically, that money goes back to independent wrestling for us to keep on doing this every single day. So, yeah, absolutely. Well, <clears throat> first things first. Before we uh, wrap up, I want to thank you very much for uh, coming on the show. You know, giving us a little bit of a background on the uh, product that you do, and you know, really just giving us an idea of what all goes into that. So, definitely very appreciative of that. Um, so, absolutely, thank you very much for coming on here. Of course. No man, don't mind. Uh, thank you. No man, thank you guys for having me on here because uh, it was funny because earlier, uh, so uh, when Dave uh, he put something on Facebook and then uh, I was tagged on it and then I was like, oh, where is this? So then like, uh, uh, so uh, I think Joseph, uh, I'm I'm not sure his last name is, but like uh, he told him, hey, you should totally interview Martin because he's a influential in the independence right now, you know. And then I saw it, and I was like, yeah, let me just do it, you know? And then after that, I, I went back, and then I saw other people who, like, gave them my heart on the comics. I'm like, wow, you know, it's like, there's people who actually actually want to hear from me, you know? So Right, absolutely. Um, and it's really awesome because we don't really get to, I don't personally get to talk to a lot of uh, creators outside of the ring like you do. Um, so it's really awesome to get to see another part of wrestling, you know? <laughs> And uh, honestly, an honor, but uh, definitely it's a pleasure to have you. Um, awesome, awesome, awesome stuff. But uh, everybody out there on the uh, on the interwebs who might be listening to this, you know where to go follow Wrestling mm-hmm. Unicorns on all of the social medias. You know their website. It's a .org website, too, so you definitely know something yeah. good. <laughs> exactly. Um, <it's> on. <laughs> that's right. It's .org. <laughs> um, but awesome stuff. And then everybody Yeah, .org, there, because .com will... <laughs> go ahead. Yeah, dot com was taken. So <laughs> dot right. right. Yeah. So I was. I wonder, I wonder what wrestling unicorns dot com is. Uh, but everybody, don't forget it's dot org. Uh, we don't want to check dot org. Com, yeah, exactly. Dot sure org. <laughs> exactly. So yeah, it's like uh, it's like a Tumblr thing. That doesn't surprise it's, me. <laughs> like a Tumblr thing from like two thousand and ten. Yeah, that <laughs> was like 2010 Tumblr. So. That does not surprise me at all. All right, folks. Well, everybody out there who's listening, I should <laughs> say, um, go ahead and support independent wrestling. It's the lifeblood of wrestling. Go ahead and support wrestling with unicorns and all that they do because, again, they're part of independent wrestling. They make everything happen. You've heard him here on the Dave Dynasty Show as a guest and as host of the monthly Graham's Gallery episodes. And now you can hear his stories you can own a copy of Confessions of a Big Time Wrestler, the audio book from Dr. Jerry Graham Jr., former multi-tag team champion in WWA and owner of Bruiser Bedlam. You can hear all of his encounters with the various wrestlers, places, and promotions he's worked as he tells about his colorful, long, and illustrious career. You can have your own copy of for only $25, and that includes shipping and handling. It's very simple. Go on Facebook, look up Jerry Jaffe, J-A-F-F-E, send him a private message, and make arrangements to purchase a copy of Confessions of a Big Time Wrestler now. You will not regret this purchase. All right. Thank you once again for joining us for this episode of the Dave Dynasty Show. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully 
Uh, we we brought some exposure uh, and some attention uh, to Midwest professional wrestling and, and what it's all about. As you know, we think it's the greatest scene in the world. I think it's very underappreciated, and we are trying our hardest to change that. Thank you uh, to all of our guests that we're on today. Make sure you get out there, support an independent wrestling show in your area. If you need some ideals here in the Midwest, uh, keep in mind, February 16th, Muncie, Indiana, Decatur County Championship Wrestling, me and Ike will be there. Uh, February 10th, the Rob Kincaid Memorial Show in Indianapolis. Please get out there and support that one. Uh, and then on Saturday, May 11th, two great shows, Evolve Wrestling in Indianapolis, Indiana, and Supreme Wrestling in Madison, Indiana. But there's shows all over the place every weekend, all the time. Get out there, support one. Uh, and, and attend a show, support these guys and what they do. And also, thank you for supporting us. And if you'd like to help uh, support a little bit financially, help keep the show free, uh, you know, there are costs involved with the, the hosting of the website, the hosting of the podcast, uh, the editing, all these things we do. So if you'd like to help us out, you can make one-time financial di- donations at paypal.me slash the Dave Dynasty. Anything helps, even if it's just a couple bucks you want to throw our way. It is greatly, greatly appreciated. And if you're really feeling generous and you like to throw us a few bucks every month on a regular basis, uh, you can do that at patreon.com slash the Dave Dynasty. If you would rather uh, make some purchases uh, to help support us, uh, might we advise you buy one of our shirts? Go to prowrestlingtees.com slash the Dave Dynasty. Buy one of our great, great shirts that we have up there. And if you're going to go to Amazon.com or HighSpots.com and do any shopping, please first visit DaveDynasty.com. Top of the page, click on the affiliate links. Uh, you can go to those sites, do your shopping. No additional charge to you, but we get a little kickback. Uh, and if you go to DaveDynasty.com, you can also find the links for the Patreon, the PayPal, and everything else in our little Midwest Wrestling Hub. All the links to social media. Uh, we're on Facebook. We're on Twitter. We're on Instagram. Of course, we're on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe to us there. Everything is right there at DaveDynasty.com. Uh, that is our central location for all of our Midwest wrestling goodness. Uh, you can find links to all of our past episodes there. Uh, so that's where you need to go. Go to DaveDynasty.com. Everything stems off of there. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for listening to us every week and supporting us. Please uh, help spread the word. Help keep this Midwest Express chugging. Share, like, comment. Do all those wonderful, wonderful things. Make sure you get out there and follow us on social media and support independent wrestling in your area so until next week ladies and gentlemen i am dave dynasty this is the Dave dynasty show thank you for joining us and in whatever you do and wherever you go be good be safe and keep on growing